Guys, if you also want to create this kind of paper folding text effect, then you need to watch this video till the end. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to create thousands of amazing paper folding text effects within few minutes. So watch this video till the end and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, you can comment down your feedbacks too. So guys, in order to create paper full text effect, obviously you need to log in into your Canva account. And once you are logging into Canva account, you can search here or you can search here as well. Basically, you need to click here, create a design and you can uh, select the screen size, like uh, whatever the screen size you want. For example, you want thumbnail type screen size. So you can directly search thumbnail over here and you will get the blank sheet over here, something like this. Right now. Once the page properly loads, let's start crafting our paper folding text effect, right? So first, let me select the canvas. This is the canvas, right? As you can see, I have selected the canvas. Let me change the uh, canvas color to complete black, right? Once it's completely black, select the text. I mean, go to the text option, select heading, add a heading and type in whatever you want. For example, I want to type king, right? This is the word I have typed king if you want you can completely make it in caps lock so basically let me change it to capital so this is what i have written let me increase the size and let me bring it to center and obviously you can change the font style as well it is totally up to you for example you can select this one you can select this one I like that I like this one most leaks Spartan right so you can keep this font style as well it is totally up to you right once it's done once you have selected the font font style you need to go to elements and you need to search here shadow so just type in shadow over here and hit the enter button once you type shadow, you will see in the graphics section, you can go to the graphics section, multiple shadow option over here. And in the second option, you'll be able to see this type of shadow, something like this, right? So what you need to do is you need to just use this shadow only. Let me just decrease the size and let me rotate it to 90 degree and I'll be placing this shadow over here and boom this is how you can create the text effect right let me zoom in a little bit let me disappear this and let me place this shadow properly so that nobody can determine that uh, this is just a shadow right so this is how it is looking now what you can do is this is basically once you have placed the shadow properly you can just duplicate the shadow one by one by pressing ctrl d or by pressing the right click on your mouse and just click on duplicate and the shadow has been duplicated like this you can paste it here something like this or maybe if you want to change the angle something like this into the middle right also you can do like this basically decrease the size something like this this is also looking good but uh, what if i change the angle to this it would be looking cool maybe right yeah it is looking good yeah now it's fine now again you can just press ctrl d in order to duplicate so i've pressed ctrl d but this time i need full size of this shadow and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it here. Obviously, I don't want to place or I don't want to show it in G letter. So this will be something like this, right? Or maybe I need to change the angle of this to like this. Yeah, this would be fine. Right, it is looking great. It is really looking great, right? Now, after this, again, you can just press Ctrl D and again, you have one duplicated shadow. Now, again, you can just change the angle to something like this. 
and you can place it wherever you want right like this or maybe oops okay and if you don't like it you can change the angle to this and here also it is looking good right so after applying all the effects after applying the complete effect what you need to do is you need to just download this as png so go to share button and here you will be able to see the download option right so just click on download and by default it is set on png just download it if you are into the free version you need to just download it you don't need to click on this transparent background but if you have transparent background option you can click on the transparent background and you can download it without background but i'm just telling you with the free version uh, in order to do the same process in the free version as well right just hit the download button and you will see that this effect has been downloaded right once it's download what you need to do is you need to down uh, i mean you need to delete this otherwise you can go to again go to new tab and open blank sheet blank canvas sheet again and just upload that text over here oops you need to upload that text into your canva right as you can see it is uploading once it's uploaded bring it here right now again i'm telling you to use one pro feature but you can what you can do is if you don't have the canva pro what you can do is you can go to background.bg sorry bg.remove right you need to go to this website or you can uh, if you don't have if you don't want to use this website you can use any background remover option i mean a website or tool and you can remove the background of this image this uh, effect which we have created right so what you need to do is you need to delete or you need to remove this back black background so after removing that black background you can import the text effect into your canva again in order to apply another text effect but i haven't removed the black background because i do have canva pro and i'm going to remove the background from here itself so this is the bg remover background remover i'm going to apply this uh, uh tool into this effect and as you can see the background is totally removed now now you can go to elements or you can go to background you will see the background option in the apps you can search here background you can select whatever the background you want otherwise you can just you can just uh, remove basically you can uh, replace a little bit and you need to just select the background of this uh, uh, canvas right so you need to select the canvas because this is the image right this blue part which i am uh, taking with my basically shaking with my cursor this is the image which we have imported right and this is the canvas so select the canvas go to this background color option and you can select whatever the color you want for example you can select pink color you can select blue color or maybe you can use or maybe you can select any gradient color and then you can place this text into that gradient color again and this is how this text is looking like right this is how the text is looking like i hope you understood how you can create this text effect with your canva tool if you still have any question query or any kind of confusion you can comment down below i'll answer those questions in the comment section itself